Yo, what is up? So, if you watch my previous summoning video, you'll know that I've pulled an R2 Embla. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be showcasing her in the Infinity, sorry, the Inferno Tower alongside Yuhime. Uh, all of my units are speedy, and I'm trying to run Embla on Astral Witchcraft just to try it out, uh, infect or corrupt as many enemies as possible. And uh, yeah, this team is very, very easy to climb with. It's very fast, but of course, it does require you to, you to have an R2 Embla. And for the most part, I just auto the non-boss stages. Um, you know, sometimes I turn off the auto to get the cooldowns, but sometimes I just fully auto it. Yuhime is very powerful here because not only does she provide the HP cap, but she provides something more important, which is the defense down. On every turn that she takes. Defense down plus Embla's Corrupted Seed is a huge combo. It just does way too much damage. It clears the enemies way too fast. Um, Embla just does like uh, a million damage in like a minute. It's just insane. I put Lucas and Liling on Tyranny set so that the enemies are constantly stunned. And I put uh, Pritzker on Ocean Waves so that he can get his skills faster. The thing with Inferno Tower is, if you don't have these units, I wouldn't recommend you to do past 200 because at that point, it's going to take you way too many attempts to clear even the non-boss stages. It, it'll take like two to three attempts per floor, which is just insane, right? You have 260 floors and you're gonna take two to three attempts, even more on the um, floors with the unit that can be revived and cannot be stunned with the crystals you do two to three attempts per floor 260 floors it's just gonna make you go crazy yeah so i wouldn't recommend if you have an r0 embla you can climb to floor 200 relatively e easily but an r0 embla you still need to manual some of some of the runs so again that could cost you your sanity for minuscule rewards so i wouldn't recommend you know, going above 200 uh, if you don't have an R2 Embla, if you don't have a Yuhime or even Brewster, Brewster R2 is very strong in this tower if you have an R6 Narmer, he doesn't do that much damage to be honest Ife, if you have her, she's good in this tower but yeah, she's only good for this tower and that's basically it, right? so yeah, without these units just, just save yourself from going crazy, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Ciao.